Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. For this video, we're going to be talking about Bolot Drawbridge of the 22 LR variety or 22 long rifle. If you know me, I sight in everything pretty much at 100 yards. This is my CZ 457 trainer in 22 long rifle. On top, I got a Kindle Gray scope on it. Jaeger Pro is what they call it. I've got some Norma Tech 22 out here with me simply because it's the best performing 22 I've found out of this rifle ammo. I'm gonna send some at 100 to verify our 100 yard zero. We're gonna come back and fling some at 50, see where those hit with the 100 yard zero. Then we're gonna send them out to 200, see how much bullet droppage there is from 100 to 200. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to do some math stuff and show you the drop with these all the way out to a thousand yards. But let's get to flinging some at a hundred yards here, and then we'll go to 50 and then 200. See where they hit. Might as well do five at each. This is 22 we're talking about. It's not going to cost us a bazillion dollars. Show you what we got here first. We're going to send them at this middle berm that's a hundred yards. Then at these, at 50, and then back there at 200, we're going to send some more, and we're going to see how much the 22 long rifle drops. Alright, I'm going to send five here at 100, see where they're hitting. Last time I had this out, we sighted it in for 100, so it should be pretty close. Send five of them. We hit the plate down there. So, looks like we're still on at 100, at 100 yards with this Norma ammo. Looks like we're getting about a, maybe an inch and a half group at 100 yards. Now, I'm going to set this camera for 50 yards and we'll see where we're hitting. The average there is pretty much dancing around the bullseye hair left, maybe. Let's bring it back to 50. Alright, now loaded five more. Let's see where we're hitting at 50. I guess it is, it's probably going to be pretty close here. Hmm, my guess is wrong. Look how high we're hitting. Four, four or five inches high. You see, at 50 yards, it pretty much puts them in the same hole. Pretty good little group there at 50 yards, but you can see how much higher it's hitting at 50 yards when it's zeroed in at 100. Now 200, I have no idea what to expect. Let's load up five more. I'm gonna guess it drops at least a foot, but I've never tried this before. Let's go ahead and send 10 at 200. This is gonna be fun. All right, now you should see a paper silhouette down there at 200. I got a big target for this one. And I'm going to hold dead center and see where we hit. I think that hit the dirt in front of the target. Yeah, we're hitting the dirt. It's dropping a lot more than I thought it would. Hold at the very tip top of the paper. Apparently there's a whole lot of drop between them. I still don't think we hit it. <clears throat> I think we are hitting the center of the paper now. 
Y'all can see better than I can. Yep. So we're having to hold about three feet high or so to hit the middle of the target down there. Yeah. Well, now that we know how high we got a hold, which is a lot, let's send five more and see if we can get some more holes in that paper down there. I think that dropped. We'll look at it in the bullet chart, but I think it's dropping four or five feet ish. But I'm using the reticle to make sure I'm holding the same spot. Looks like we got a decent little fist sized group down there. But let me show you a little bit on the bullet drop chart. Let me do some calculations and edit it in here quick. All right, so I told you I was gonna do some math calculations on the bullet drop out to a thousand for this 40 grain Norma Tech 22. 22 long rifle now the the bc the best i could find for this is 0.15 i don't know if that's true to a fact but that's the best information i could find and we already know that the stuff is subsonic so it's telling us here hey man before you even fling that sucker at subsonic but if we look here where's my pointer at so if we look here Sighted in, dead on at 100. Then it says going to 200, it should be dropping about 37 and a half inches, which is pretty close to what I was actually having to do there in the video. Hold three or four feet over where we wanted those boo lots to hit. So based on that, I'd say that eh, most of this is pretty close. Then if you go all the way down to a thousand yards, it's saying the boo lots are dropping 3,025 inches, which is roughly boop, 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 250 feet or so. Can you believe that? It's dropping 250 feet, actually a little bit more than that at a thousand yards. We go over here to the energy column. It pretty much um, has no energy. I mean, it's like dust in the wind at that point. But hey, uh, if you want to be flinging them at, say, 500 yards, look at how much you're going to have to click on your scope or get a rail or something. 26 mils. That is pretty insane for a 500-yard shot. But then again, hey, there's not that many people flinging these 40 grainers that far. But then again, there are some people who do it. So, but... I told you I would show you at a thousand and these are those numbers let's get back to the video thanks for checking out this real quick 22 long rifle bullet drop video it's my CZ 457 and some of that Norma Tac 22 so now we know how much the 22 LRs at least these if you're using these uh, if, you, if you're using something with a similar uh, bullet speed your drop is going to be pretty much close to what we showed in this video today but as always appreciate y'all watching make sure you're subscribed we'll see you on the next one 22 bullet drop <laughs>